and look who I have. I've got freaking Billy Puppet from Saul. This is the Trick or Treat Studios one. I picked this up at Elm Street Toys. Um, you guys know I've talked about Elm Street Toys multiple times on this channel. It is my go-to horror store. Um, I'll leave their link in the description box. Um, also, I know they're like newly stocked on those Necronomicon books too, so I know a lot of people like those. Um, so I was able to pick this guy up. I didn't think I was actually going to be able to find him. They went out of stock and this was like right after I bought the Annabelle and I went back to get him. They didn't have him. So I ended up making a comment that I really needed this one um, a few months later. And then within two or three weeks, they freaking contacted me again on here of all places and was like, hey, we just got them in stock. And I was like, I will be there this weekend. So they are located out of Allen, Texas and I'm in Oklahoma. <laughs> so they're about two hours one way from me, maybe a little bit more, but uh, I love that store so much. I do make the trip to go there. When you spend with them, you actually earn points. So I was able to get $20 off of him because I have racked up my points there. Super, super excited to add him to my collection. I don't think I can get him all in the shot. <laughs> I'm trying my best here, guys, but with these big things, it's hard to do. But anyway, so you can see he's he's pretty he's pretty good size. So here's his little feet. And then I actually had him posed, and I will show you guys how I have him posed in a minute. But he's so lightweight. So he's like foam filled. He's just foam. I love that about him. He, and his clothing is made out of like a nice thick material. It's just really nice. His little shiny bow. Um, I'll admit the first time that I seen him, I wasn't really the fondest of his shoes just because it kind of gave me dorky vibes. <laughs> um, let me show you guys what I'm talking about here. So they're very like, yeah, very shiny. I don't know if that's picking up right or not, but they're kind of like metallic almost. His face is pretty much just like a foam filled with latex. It's, it's super simple. And I love it because he's so freaking light. So super excited to add him to my collection. He's fully posable. And I was actually able to pick up something else that I'm excited to show you guys. Y'all, here he is. Check him out. So he is on a trike. Check this tricycle out. It is so nice. Pay no attention to this mess right here. I haven't put this up yet. But look at this. It's super, super loud. And it's still got its little tassels on. It's in such great condition. Super cute. So this is what the side of it looks like. <laughs> so he will not be staying right here in this corner. This is for my Funko Pops. Um, I have another one of these shelves I got to put together. And he will be on the other side of the room where the TV is going to be mounted. Um, with the live sizes over there. So. Super excited to add him to my collection, y'all. I didn't think, I thought once he sold out, I wasn't going to get another opportunity to get him. So I definitely snagged him up as soon as they contacted me, which was so sweet. They definitely did not have to do that. <laughs> anyway, yeah, guys, check them out. Elm Street Toys. I will leave their link and awesome company. They're fellow collectors as well. So they look out for collectors. It's amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye, y'all.